CDC has confirmed that one case of coronavirus has reached the United States. The agency is saying one person in Washington state has contracted the virus. It's unclear if this person recently traveled to China, where and how they became infected, and if this person has transmitted the virus to anyone else in the U.S. Major airports, including Chicago O'Hare and Atlanta International Airports, will add entry health screening. That's later on this week. Now, the coronavirus has already killed six people so far and has sickened three un 300 others in Asia. The virus was first uh, noticed in China back in December, but initially scientists didn't think it could be passed between humans. This outbreak is growing in strength and passing from person to person. News for Jack's anchor Melanie Lawson explains what coronavirus is and how it affects your body. This is a new coronavirus, a cousin of the SARS virus, according to the CDC. Now, this particular virus causes pneumonia and does not respond to antibiotic treatment. So here are some things to know about coronaviruses. They are a large group of viruses that are common in animals. It is pretty rare for them to be transmitted from animals to humans. Symptoms typically include a runny nose, a cough, sore throat, possibly a headache, maybe a fever that lasts for a couple of days. People with weakened immune systems, the elderly and the very young could have more serious complications. Now, the two deadly coronaviruses that we know of are SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome. It was first identified in South China. Now, depending on the person's age, the death rate for SARS ranged from zero to 50% of the cases, with older people being the most vulnerable. MERS virus, or Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, another deadly form of the virus, was first reported in the Middle East in 2012. Now, three out of three to four out of every 10 patients infected with MERS died, according to the CDC. Now, when it comes to human to human transmissions of the viruses, it often happens when someone comes in contact with the infected person's secretions. There is no treatment. Most of the time, those symptoms will go away on their own. There is also no vaccine to protect against the family of viruses. Trials for MERS vaccine are taking place now. So basically at this point, it's about containing the disease, identifying people and animals with it and isolating them. Melanie Lawson, Channel 4, The Local Station.